I only have one message to give you. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you call me. I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. Talking about free speech and Sharia law and Muslims, um, I saw these, somebody sent me this in an email, and I like it. Here is the typical Muslim response to everything that is not Muslim. I want you to take a look at this picture here. Here is a little child holding up in English. Probably the little child can't even read the sign, but his Sharia-loving mother and parents are telling him to do this. The sign reads, Behead all those who insult the prophet. Train up a child in the way... Wow. Here is... And I love Norman Rockwell. I just love the artwork and the paintings of Norman Rockwell. There is nothing more American than the art of Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell, as you know, was a 20th century artist. Did uh, one painting a week for, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Saturday, Saturday Evening Post, a um, weekly circulation. And this one here, he was commissioned to do a painting on uh, the Bill of Rights. And this one is called Freedom of Speech. And, you know, they say a picture, picture says a thousand words. This is pure America right here. This is what our Constitution guarantees us as an absolute freedom. This depicts a man probably at a town hall meeting of some kind, probably at the city hall. He's not a businessman. He's not a doctor. He's not a lawyer. He's not a politician. He's just a worker. He's just a guy. He may have only had a fourth grade education, may have had to drop out of school and go to work on the family farm. Can barely read. He can do enough math to get by. He works a job. He grows a garden, he feeds his family, doesn't have a lot in this world as far as material or money is concerned, and he doesn't have the greatest education in the world. But he has an opinion. He has an idea of how things should be done in America. It may not be the most popular opinion. It may not be the, the most, it may not be the wisest opinion. It may be an opinion that really no one else agrees with, but it's his opinion. And he has a right in this country to stand up and be heard. That's the America that I love. That's the America that I do not want to see driven into the hands of of this it sickens me to think that America would be turned into a country where it would be a punishable crime by beheading to say anything about Allah or Mohammed or the Quran I probably would not I don't know I don't know if you make me mad I might do it uh, this guy down in Florida this this pastor was Terry Watkins or something like that that was gonna burn a Koran he has a right to do it he has a right to burn you know they burn Bibles all the time they burn American flags on the steps of the Congress they burn Bibles the National Endowment for the Arts paid a New York artist to put a crucifix into a vial of human urine and call it art. He has the right to offend me, and he has the right to offend my God. That's freedom of speech. 
I have the right then to come out on this program or anything that I do or behind my pulpit and say what God tells me to say. And the IRS is not going to shut me up. Nobody else is going to shut me up. I have the right, and I will exercise the right, and I'm sorry if it offends you, but I'm telling you that there are enough people in this country that when you start taking our rights away, they're going to start shooting to defend and protect what it is that we have. Listen, the most precious thing and the most valuable thing that I can do on this planet in my lifetime right now is exactly what I'm doing. It is the most valuable thing in the world to me. It was commissioned by my Savior, Jesus Christ. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. He, he didn't say, now don't do it if it offends them. And he didn't say, go do it in a pub either. And so I believe that I have a right to stand. I may not be, this may not be the most popular opinion. It may not, I can, I'm shut out of most churches. There is um, somebody who uh, sent me some things on Facebook, and she said, we've been officially asked to leave our church, primarily over the, they said, because of your sins. And they said, what sins? Well, you're King James only. And you've been following, and they specifically mentioned in this church, you've been following Mike Hoggard. And we just don't go along with that. You've been passing his videos out here, and we don't like that, so leave our church. They got kicked out of their church. So it may not be the most popular opinion. It may be hated by most churches, but I have a right to say it, and I'm going to say it. And if you love the Lord, you don't get offended. You really don't. 